Hey everybody, Mike here with Norcan Hockey and Elite Ice Hockey Analysis. Today I'm just going to go into why the backhand is still important and relevant. I know there's some uh, debate out there about when to use forehand and when to use backhand, but I'm going to show a few examples of when the backhand is really important and why it's a tool every elite player should have in their toolbox. This video is not geared too much towards the fun hockey player or non-competitive. This is a kind of more of a high-end skill. So we're just going to go through some of the some of the examples of, of how and why here and then get into some drills towards the end. So being able to be a threat out of just about every situation is, is a key here. Ovechkin toes towards the net. Uh, the San Jose player slides and takes away Ovechkin's strong side where he would load to shoot off of the forehand. So being able to continue towards the net with your toes going north and be an option to shoot is really what we're looking at here so just situational being able to shoot or be a threat out of just about any situation here the toronto player comes down you can see there's really no chance to go on the forehand and have that puck in loaded because he's susceptible to pressure from behind and also this player's stick sliding and taking away that that uh, shooting area so he has to put the puck on his backhand blade angle is important too so you can see his blade angle right now is actually dictating pass and at the last minute he turns the blade angle into a shot blade angle so blade angle really important when working on this and the meat of this video is kind of going to be for shootouts and breakaways there's so much you know international competition even NHL games now decided by shootout and breakaways and it's still something that's not really being trained or taught but the best players in the game are like utilizing that backhand threat because what it does is, you know, it gives you a, a two-headed two-headed monster that the goalie has to defend against. So here Callahan comes down with his puck in zone two right in front of him, and then turns and puts that puck to the backhand, and you can see how he changes the angle. So the angle, the puck is right in front. From there, he can either go forehand or backhand. Most goalies think that he's going to be going forehand. And there, changes the angle, squares that blade up, the target towards the net. The thing to look here is toe is still going at the net and shoulders and hips are perpendicular to each other. So shoulders are running this way, hips are going that way, upper and lower body separation. Comes down here, puck right in front, changes the angle, leans away. So the lower body is giving information that it's going this way. Upper body twists to manipulate the goalie and go around this way. So you can see that blade angle. Hands are shifted outside of the body. Backhand shot. It's really tricky and deceptive uh, approach on the shootout is being able to threaten backhand and see if the goalie bites on it or if the goalie still plays towards the forehand side. And there's always usually a little hole in there under the armpit and beneath the blocker. McKinnon uses that same move. This was an all-star game a couple years ago. Landis Gog in game situation pulls that puck to the backhand still continuing towards the net across the body onto the backhand quick up over the glove high glove side Slavin with Colorado does it quite a bit he's probably had four or five clips of him being a threat on the backhand so that threat really important and we want to look at that top elbow and hand and shoulders rotating back behind so the top elbow is straight out scarecrow arm look like your arm is a scarecrow top hand is rotated actually behind the hips shoulders are perpendicular to the hips so he's got his shoulders this way hips are opposite skates are the same way the shoulders so upper and lower body separation squaring the blade up on the backhand to be a threat to shoot so the next step of it I guess is uh, on the breakaway so here I think it's comfort comes in and he's actually threatening to shoot on the backhand you can see the blade angle and where the puck is, he's threatening that exact same Callahan shot and then pulls it to 
to the forehand around. So that's the cat and mouse game that the shooter is playing with the goalie. So you can see right there, blade opens up like it's going to shoot and then quick pull across the body to the forehand. Here's a good angle of the blade. You can see exactly what he does with it. So right there he's not a threat to shoot but he's got his his shoulders are starting to rotate, he's got scarecrow arm, hands are shifted completely outside the body, outside the base of the skates. So right here he goes down and you can watch the blade. Right there he opens the blade up to show shot and then twists his wrists, rolls it over to the forehand and goes around. So really important to just open that blade up. It's a small intricate detail of it, but opening the blade to show shot is probably one of the most deceptive things a shooter can do in that situation. So get into kind of the technique of learning it and, and implementing it, having a player acquire it. This is how most people teach the backhand shot and pass. So I've got my feet locked in here on an isolation block. Toes are pointing this way, puck is going that way typical sweep shot motion that everybody learns with and there's nothing wrong with that that's the way we're supposed to learn it uh, until about Adam we want to be learning sweeps and then here on the forehand this is how we all learn the sweeps but you can see the rotation that happens here when you put the puck on your backhand with toes locked in and isolated pointing that way and I still want to shoot this way with the puck so you can see what the blade of the stick has to do to get square in order to threaten to shoot the same way my toes are going. And there's that elbow, scarecrow arm, hand up rotated behind the body. Shoulders perpendicular of hips and skates. So this is just a, a good little stick handling drill. Forehand pass, put it into that shot area. Typical sweep shot, put it into the backhand shot area and that's where you can look for that rotation. So here now my toes are locked in forwards towards the boards or towards the net whatever your target is. So feet are isolated and now the puck is traveling that same direction where the very first video the difference is the isolation block had my toes pointing this way puck was traveling that way so you can see the difference in why it's important to lock the feet in when we're working on the technique of this. And there's that high elbow, blade square to the target, and just learning the technique of moving the puck on the backhand the same direction as your toes are pointing. And then this is just a you know kind of a secondary or a, a progression of it, where getting comfortable with just moving that puck quickly on the backhand and then pulling it across the body. So getting into that position, popping the puck over to the backhand being able to just be comfortable bringing that puck across your toes so you're going forehand to backhand. And then we get into more motion and movement with it. So there is the backhand shot looking for that uh, looking for that high glove area. So here we've just got a net um, set, a, a small and intermediate size net set at the top of the crease which represents the goaltender. So first time went down was actually the, the backhand threatening to be on the backhand and shoot. Second time down is backhand threat with an open blade and then go into a forehand, forehand shot. So coming down you can see the blade goes, blade opens up to be a threat and then wrists roll over. Try to pull that puck quickly across your toes and go to the forehand around the goalie. So that's kind of the cat and mouse game with the goalie is come down, threaten one thing, if he doesn't honor it, shoot there. If he honors that, then make your move to the other side. So it's just a chess match with the goalie generally. So that's kind of the, the full breakdown of it, how, how you would introduce it and, and get a young player to think about it and acquire it. Uh, leave any thoughts you have on this. It's a really interesting topic to me. So if you've had some experience or thoughts with uh, players being able to separate upper and lower body and rotate and get into that position to be a threat on the backhand while going towards the net would like to hear about it so thanks for listening